Hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS. In this part, I should be showcasing a new game mode that is exclusive to the 3DS version of Super Smash Brothers. That mode is called Smash Run. It is this green option right over here. Now, in the Japanese version, it's actually called Field Smash, but in the localized versions of this game, it is called Smash Run. It's a brand new mode. You can't play this mode on the Wii U version, and it's a lot of fun. Now, if you select this option over here to the left, you'll be playing against computer opponents. You'll be playing by yourself. Three computer opponents, have a good time. If you select the right option, you'll be playing against friends. You can play up to three other friends for four players total, but your friends also need to have a copy of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. If you select this bottom left option, that allows you to customize your character and give them equipment that's exclusive to Smash Run. I'll explain that in more detail in a little bit. And if you select the bottom right most option, this will allow you to choose what songs will play during your experience in Smash Run. Allow me to demonstrate. So as you see here, we have a bunch of songs. This first song here is the menu song and there's all sorts of songs in this game however every song that has a check mark is a song that can potentially play in Smash Run you can choose which songs you want to play and there's even songs in here that don't play on other stages of the game for instance this song appeared in Pac-Man's reveal trailer for Super Smash Brothers this song does not play anywhere else in the 3DS version of this game except for sound test and Smash Run so you can have this song play during Smash Run if you so wish for now, I'm going to go ahead and play by myself. I'll be covering multiplayer in a future video, hopefully. Allow me to demonstrate how Smash Run works. So you can choose whether or not you want to have customizations on or off. But if you have them on, then your CPU opponents will also have them on. If you don't have a customized character, don't worry. You can select any character. For instance, if I were to select Mario here, you might have noticed that I didn't have a customizable Mario. If I just click the question mark, it'll give me a randomly generated Mario moveset, and I can change the costume to whatever I like. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and pick random. I'll get a random character, random customization pieces, and random power-ups that I can use during Smash Run. Let's go ahead and do this. It should be fun. Okay. So Smash Run, like I've been saying, is a new mode exclusive to the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros. It is very reminiscent of the City Trial mode from Kirby Air Ride. And alright, my song is Airman Stage from Mega Man 2. It is a song newly composed for this game, and it does not play anywhere else in this game other than the sound test option. So here you go. Here's a proper demonstration of a song that can play during Smash Run. As you can see, my character is Samus, and as I can already tell, my up B is a bit different. It is a customizable move set. You might notice that on the bottom screen, over to the left, you see my character. The little, you see some stats, and you see a bunch of squares with different pictures on them. The squares are different attacks that I can use during Smash Run. If I tap on one of them, I'll be able to use it. Now, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to waste the power, but you can equip those to your character. Now, you might notice that in the top screen, there's a timer up in the top right. That's how much time I have to explore this area. This is a giant arena where I have to go around and capture these little pieces here. So you see that these are a bunch of hammers. The more of these that I collect, as well as other little flying pictures, the more I power up my character. And you might notice that every time I get one of those, I power up the stats on the bottom screen. Now, as you see here, I went into a secret room. These secret rooms provide different challenges. If you clear the challenges, you'll get different power-ups. Now, I'm already getting power-ups from defeating enemies. You get power-ups from defeating enemies. The bigger the enemy, the more power-ups you're going to get. And, of course, you just touch them, and you'll get that power-up. Now, I cleared this little challenge, so I'm going to get all sorts of power-ups. When you're in a challenge room like this, don't worry about the power-ups eventually disappearing. They'll stay there forever, so take as long as you need. But, of course, you want to gather as many power-ups as, as you can as possible, because after the timer is over, I'll have to go up against my CPU opponents and see who has the better stat range. So, okay, right now I'm going to go ahead and check if there's anything over here. Okay, not really. All right, there's a little bit of a drill. I can defeat some enemies. Ooh, I hit the chicken. All right, I'm out of here. See ya. So there's different enemies in this mode. There's enemies that range from all sorts of Nintendo franchises. You see there that there's the Shy Guy from the Mario and Yoshi franchises, when just a couple of seconds ago there was a Cuckoo from The Legend of Zelda. There's all sorts of stuff. And the enemies will be a bit random. They'll change every time you play Smash Run. And there's enemies ranging from Mario, Kirby, Pokemon, every franchise in Super Smash Bros. All sorts of fun stuff. Alright, slowly but surely. So, as you can see, I'm just running all over this map. If I wanted to, I can actually see a map on my bottom screen, but I don't really feel that that's necessary because I feel like part of the fun is not exactly knowing where you're going, and so on and so forth. Now, this isn't my first time playing Smash Run. I played it at E... Uh, I did not play it at E3. I played it at PAX Prime, even though I played Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS a lot at E3. I play this mode at PAX Prime, and just on my own time, I play this mode a lot. Usually when I'm rendering videos, I'll just mess around in this mode, unlock some stuff. It's a lot of fun. Here we go. There's a Cryagonal there. There was a Find Me Ghost, and there was an enemy from Donkey Kong. So, okay, there's a little bit of an event going on. 
if there's ever a uh, if there's ever a red countdown in the top left corner of the top screen, it means that there's an, an event. And usually there's arrows to direct you in the location of the event. Sometimes it's just a bunch of enemies spawning. And you can tell when that event is going to end based on when that timer depletes to zero. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this power up here. Oh, okay. Thank you, Cryagonal. I'm going to go ahead and take you down. Thank you. Okay. Continuing on. So usually what I like to do is I usually like to start with the left part of this entire map. I like to go as far left as I possibly can. And I've already done that. That was that whole aerial segment I was in at the start of this video. All right, there's a bonsai bill. I'm going to go ahead and get away from that. Okay, there's all sorts of stuff. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think I've already covered the left side of this entire field, so let me go ahead and cover the right side. I've only got a minute and about 30 seconds left, and of course you can defeat these enemies and get power-ups, but I really don't feel the need to defeat all of these enemies. Now, again, I don't know if there's some s smart, competitive way to do Smash Run, but I'm just doing it in the ways that I like to do it. Okay, this is a crystal challenge. I usually suck at these. Usually, I can clear these based on the equipment that I have on my bottom screen. So right now I'm just throwing a bunch of bombs at it and I'm blowing myself up in the process. I apologize for that. Uh, if you just be... Your, your goal is to take down all of these crystals. And if you take down all of these crystals, you'll get all sorts of power-ups just from the crystals themselves. But I don't think I'm going to be able to take down all of these in the next nine seconds considering I keep blowing myself up. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, well, that sucks. Anyway, more about Smash Run. This map has all sorts of different events that can go on. Sometimes you'll have a bunch of enemies spawning in one section. Sometimes there's a boss enemy that you have to take down. If you take down that boss enemy, you'll get like a ton of power-ups. There's all sorts of cool stuff. And then there's different things to the map that will happen. So, okay. For instance, this platform just shot me up into the air. But if I were to play Smash Run again, that platform might actually not go anywhere. But because it did go up, I can actually access all of these platforms up here if I don't get attacked again. Here we go. Okay, I've, I've got less than 30 seconds to take whatever I can. Also, those little bags that I keep picking up. The bags with the wrenches on them hold customization pieces, whereas the bags with the little rainbow squares on them, those will give you smash run equipment. Those will give you bits of smash run equipment. Oof! And I died. So sometimes when you're in a battle with an enemy, the camera will stay exactly where it is, and if you fall out of the camera range, you will die. If you start running away from the screen, though, the camera will start panning toward you. If you get knocked out of the screen, you will die, and you will lose a bit of your equipment so this is not exactly my best run of smash run I mean I got a bit of defense which is the shield at the bottom oh I didn't say what each of these stats does so the boot makes you go faster the wings make you jump higher the glove makes you deal more damage to your opponent the red spark lets you deal more special damage to your opponent the hammer allows you to I don't really know and the shield is your defense so there you have it okay so now as you see we have a free-for-all here these are my three CPU opponents they were also running around that giant arena in smash run and our goal is to see how well we've customized our characters to see who will win this battle. Okay, so right now we are at End's Castle. I am Samus, I'm going up against Ganondorf, Ness, and Rob. They seem to be destroying me pretty well, and I don't know, you know, what their customizable attacks are. I mean, I got to see their stats on the previous screen, but I didn't have those memorized. I was more concerned about moving on to this battle. Now, I just killed Rob, and this is a time match, so my goal is to kill as many people as possible before the timer goes down to zero. And right now I have the lead, so if I can just survive for the next 16 seconds or so, I should be good to go. But yeah, Smash Run is a really fun mode. It is offline only, I should mention that. You can only do this locally, okay? There's no online to this mode, which is unfortunate, but that's just how it is. And it is a fun mode, I really like it. I like playing it in my spare time. When I'm rendering videos and I need something to do, it's the mode that I will play. It is fun. I think I just won this battle. Excellent! And there you have it. I picked a random character, I went into Smash Run, I ran around for a little bit, and I did what I could, and I won. So, I'm sorry if that was a, just a load of information, and here's all the equipment that I won. So all those little rainbow bags are Smash Run parts. Everything else is just customizable equipment for any other character in the game. Fun stuff. Alright, that's Smash Run, humans. I hope that I explained that well. I know that there was a lot going on. You've only got five minutes to gather as much stuff as possible, so I only had five minutes to explain everything. But hopefully one day I'll be able to co cover the co-op mode so I can go over this in greater detail. For now, that wraps up this part of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part. Bye-bye, humans.